Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Recreating. Today I was supposed to show you how to make Kill, Kill Again, or at least show you how to sculpt his face. But unfortunately, my camera needed space and I accidentally deleted the wrong video. <laughs> so, sorry about that. Anyway, um, let me tell you how I did the rest of the, <laughs> the, rest of the um, character. So I had to take off everything that uh, Brick Bazooka uh, had, but Kip Killigan did not have. Since I'm using the Brick Bazooka body uh, to create Kip Killigan, I had to take off some of the stuff that uh, Bazooka or Brick Bazooka had. Um, so one of the things was uh, some of the pockets on the sides and uh, the boots and uh, the little metal plate that he has on the other. You guys could see it right there, a little blue plate plate he has on his knee I had to scratch all that stuff out um, it took a long time and it smelt like melted plastic for a long long time uh, even his boots were all wrong <laughs> I had to round off the tip of his boots because the tip of his boots were originally uh, rectangle shape and I had to round them off and also his uh, boots went a little bit uh, Kip Killigan's boots went a little bit up higher than um, Brick Bazooka's boots, so I had to uh, grind all that stuff off. It took, uh, it took a long time and there was plastic all over the place. So, um, there's plastic even in the camera, but the show must go on. So let's go. Anyways, I decided to go with polymer clay afterwards because uh, I'm not a professional using epoxy clay. So um, I ended up using polymer clay because I also I had a bunch of polymer clay left over and I decided to use it for this guy because I've used it in, in previous projects. And so I decided why not? Let's try it out, see what happens. Hopefully it works out. Uh, the only thing is that I can't throw this guy in the oven because polymer clay cooks in the oven. In order for it to get hard, you have to cook it in the oven. And I can't put the whole uh, toy in the oven because it will completely melt, obviously. So um, I just had to use a heat gun to um, heat up the polymer clay. And so I did. Quick update, guys. So what happened was that... Uh, um, I thought that the polymer clay was going to work out just fine because they have worked out in the previous uh, projects that I made. Um, unfortunately, it didn't work out that way this time. Uh, the polymer hardened, you know, I heated it up, it, it hardened until I started carving the details into the, into the polymer clay and the shoulder pads completely came off and then it started cracking around the neck area and I got cracks all over the place and it was just brutal guys it was horrible I even did the wristbands guys the wristbands it took forever to do those things and it still cracked on me boy was I disappointed I was disappointed so I just threw away the toy and I cried myself to sleep <laughs> <laughs> Time to go back to work. <laughs> yep. Uh, let's see here. This one's kind of cute. <laughs> I forgot I don't drink coffee. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's a little uh, a little comedy for you guys. 
Anyways, that same day, I went back to my office and I put my big boy pants on and I decided to finish Kip Killigan with the epoxy clay. Uh, there's a lot of epoxy clay that I had to use for this guy. Um, I'm glad it all worked out. Um, I'm glad it worked out the way it did because um, the epoxy clay worked out a million times better than the polymer clay did. Uh, don't get me wrong, polymer clay is still pretty good to use if you guys are doing like accessories, like guns, weapons, uh, whatever else you guys want to do. But if you guys are modifying a toy like I am, it's best to go with epoxy clay because it actually, once it dries, um, it dries like plastic, like if it was actual plastic and it all, it's seamless. It, well, you have to get used to it and sculpt it. Um, to make it look seamless but um when it all dries it it dries like plastic like if you it was actually part of the toy so um i'm glad that the polymer clay screwed up the way it did because or else i would have never used the epoxy and it would have never turned out the way it did and i i really love the way it turned out so um yeah so some bad things you know turn them into good turn negativity into positivity anyways um so i don't know how many hours i spent doing this thing um, um but like like i said i'm glad i did because i got used to doing uh stuff with the epoxy clay and the more work that you put into it uh, the better you get with anything else you know what i mean so um i got a whole lot better <laughs> doing the epoxy clay um thanks to uh the polymer clay acting the way it did so I don't, here obviously is a time lapse I this is like maybe three four hours into this uh, it was ridiculous so uh, putting every little bit as you guys could see how the epoxy clay uh, works it's super soft like it's even softer than polymer clay and um, after a while like maybe two or three hours it starts getting hard and you could work best with it like that i didn't realize it until you know the very end that it works best when you let it dry off for a little bit let it air dry for a little bit and then uh then you can start molding it a little bit better and it's a lot s smoother because originally when you first start working with the the epoxy clay it's it has like little pebbles or it's like um i don't know how to describe it it's 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 not as smooth it's as any other clay it's it's a little rough because you have to mix two parts of it there's two different types of uh epoxy that you have to mix together in order to get uh it it in order for it to harden you have to mix the two parts together and that's why it hardens the way it does anyways this is the infamous cigar so i had to glue that sucker in i had to glue it in like two times because it fell out Whew. That's a whole lot of work. <laughs> Let's keep going. I swear that's sweat. <laughs> I swear I didn't pour water in my face. <laughs> I'm just playing, guys. I really don't sweat that much just for my armpits. Boom, boom. Anyways, uh, on to the painting. The paint job. So, um, the paint job, I love painting. So I had to, you know, put a lot of paint into this guy i had to go over and over the paint making sure i got the right colors and the right textures and whatnot um his face was um it's hard to do because if you guys see his eyeballs his eyeballs are kind of like bulging out of his eyes his eye sockets and i i for sure wasn't going to do that uh with with the epoxy clay because like i said i'm not that good with the epoxy clay just yet Although I did get a lot of practice out of it, um, I'm not that good yet. So I had to paint the eyeballs in there and put texture around the eyeballs and stuff like that with paint to make them look uh, the way it does at the end. Um, this camouflage painting took forever because the brown, for some reason, uh, it, well, using, using the acrylic paint, you have to go over and over it like i don't know how many times to get the right to get the right uh, um paint that you want the paint 
uh, to show through you have to go over and over and over again so if you guys screw up on the paint don't worry about it because you guys are gonna have to go over that paint <laughs> anyways if you guys are using acrylic paint so um, I learned this a long long time ago so I'm just letting you guys know that when you guys are using acrylic paint you're gonna have to go over and over again somebody had asked me if you guys if um, I should use primer uh, before using before painting I painted uh, one of the T-Rex and somebody had asked me if uh, if I should use primer if that if I suggest for them to use primer and I said no because uh, using the acrylic paint you have to go over and over and over again so it doesn't matter because the first layer of acrylic paint is like primer and then the rest of it you know you just paint it over it so here's the eyeballs it looks funny at first <laughs> it doesn't stay like this way I promise you guys at the end result it's gonna be a lot better so here is almost complete there's a ninja stars I didn't want to use polymer clay because I was so mad at polymer clay at this point that I didn't really want to use it I didn't want it to break or crack or anything so anyways so the ninja stars glue the ninja stars uh, this is a bad camera angle <laughs> so the ninja stars are there and then I had to glue the cigar once again so you guys can see there's no there's no detail on the face right now but later on there will be a lot of detail and you guys can see it at the end result and you guys can see how much detail I put onto the paint so there's layers and layers of paint that go onto this characters and hours and hours and hours of stuff that you have to do for these guys to look the way they do of course I couldn't forget the hard tattoo that he has on his side it's a heart and then a lightning bolt going across it or going through it and it's like a broken heart pretty cool tattoo I will never get it but pretty cool tattoo anyways and then on moving on to the bullets the bullets I had to do one by one tedious tedious work uh, it took forever to do these things but I got it done all right guys so the last thing i'm gonna do for this guy is uh do the gun belt the strap or whatever you want to call it that goes around his uh or not the gun belt the bullets uh belt that he has bullets on here uh this is basically an elastic uh band that usually you have these like around your underwear or shorts or whatever that help you that tighten up so that's all it is um so yeah i'm just gonna Wrap that around him, glue the, the the ends of it, and then glue the bullets on these, and then that's it. I have all the bullets already here. Hopefully it's enough. If not, I'll just make a little bit more and just cover the whole thing. So let me do that now. One thing I forgot to mention is that I had to uh, paint the strap black because he has the black, it's not just white. So that's what I'm doing here. It's painting it completely black. Can you guys see what my next project is? There's a little hint on this video. Anyways, so I had to glue each bullet one by one onto the belt. Tedious work! <laughs> but we are almost done, guys. So let's see the end result. Okay, so we are all done with the belt. There it is. Now I'm going to put it around him. So, and just glue it there. All right, guys, we are all done with this guy. He is complete. Check him out. <laughs> I really like the way he turned out. We got most of the stuff in there that he has. Even his little tattoo on the side. Uh, his wristbands and everything. That's what the back of him looks like. All the way around. And there he is. Mr. Kill Killigan. Um, I do still have to paint the belt, but that'll be a different time. Um, if you guys aren't in my Instagram or you guys haven't followed me on Instagram, there's a link down below. You guys can follow me on Instagram. And you guys will see this little extra repaints or little little touch-ups that I do on my other on my other characters that I haven't finished. For example, this guy, you'll see me finish this part on my Instagram. So if you guys haven't done so, follow me on Instagram. 
and uh, you guys will see little extra pieces of the puzzle <laughs> anyways thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this little episode if you did please don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you're new to the channel please don't forget to subscribe because if you guys do guess what you guys will see me on the next one peace